Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome to the Virtual Railways with Briar Gaming. Now today we are just doing a little stream to brush away the cobwebs. Um, it's not going to be a long one, uh, probably a couple of hours. Um, I did say I was going to do sand patch grade, um, but I'm really not in the mood to do sand patch grade today I'm afraid folks. Um, I need something to do to stimulate my brain and unfortunately sand patch grade won't give me that. Um, I want to do some stopping services um, and a bit of British stuff so here we are East Coast way just turning on all of our safety systems and uh, Oh, that, that needs to be normal as well. That's all good. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Door release. Why is that not releasing the doors? Peculiar. Anyway. Alright. There we go. We are in. We need daylights. Day running lights. There we go. Doopy doopy doo. is the button you need to push. Alright, uh, is there anything we need to turn on on this back panel? I cannot remember. I don't think there is. It's all those keys, all the T keys. Right. Now, we need to check where we're going. We are going to Orvi Eastbourne. So, uh, we need to set our Find ore on the list. There it is. Ooh. Confirm location. Confirm location. Exit. Now, if we go external cameras, front camera. Yeah, there we go. Destination is on the front. So. Happy days. And now we just gotta wait for a few moments before we start our journey. Morning Rogan. I don't know if you caught the last bit. Sorry, I I'm not in the mood for sand patch grade today, but I promise you it will be on tomorrow's stream and we will have a nice long stream tomorrow. And it'll be terrific. We'll do all day on sand patch grade, just for you. Um, not just for you, but we'll do sand patch grade all all day tomorrow so that we've got a nice long stream and we will make sure we save it every half an hour to prevent crashes because I don't really want to go halfway through a scenario and it crash again on me Doors are open, so we don't need to do anything. Prep that bit already. Right. 
Okay. So how are you feeling today, Rogan? You all good? Oh, hello, Kaleidoscope. Good morning. Hope he made you your cup of tea this morning. Breakfast time? Breakfast time? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. That's tea and biscuits time. Alright, we have the green signal. And away we go. So we're off to Falmer for a station stop. Oh, your turn to make the tea. Well, blimey. Right, E is the Eastbourne line. Because um, if we go left off here, it takes us towards London. And hopefully they'll add that in the future. A London to Brighton route. But yeah, you go off left there towards London. But we're going right today towards Eastbourne. And again, this is another fairly busy looking route. Plenty of scenery about. Now this railway, Southern England, um, it runs on the third rail system, 750 volts DC. Um, also known as the, the Devil's Sorcery on the railway. To the, the people that work on it, just because of the third rail and you forget it's there. And before you know it, you've stepped on it and that's it, game over. Oh, people, lots of people. Rogan will be happy. There's lots of people on the railway platforms. Yeah, but we're not calling at this station. We've got two miles to go to our first station call. So we can give it a little bit of juice. Four notches of power on this particular train. And that is a class 377-4. But please don't ask me what the 4 stands for. It's just the configuration and model. Um, this is in the same family of trains that we're going to be getting on southeastern high speed. Um, just a different type. Like this set up with different configuration of controls and features and things like that so this is the 377 I think it's the 378 we're getting in um, high speed southeastern high speed I do need to double check that but uh, yeah I think it's a 378 we're getting which is just a slightly different Thing. But it tends to be the same train, just uh, with different operators. They have different classes, just so that when they're built, they uh, get re get a different number of notes from that region. But uh, the trailer looked good yesterday. So yes, I have got the day off work for the fourth. So we will be streaming all day on that day, or when it's from from when it's released. Um, for a little while or for most of the day um, we'll be streaming network south east or network south east and south eastern high speed which is quite a long route actually it's 52 miles but a lot of that is the high speed one part of it to St Pancras um, it's high speed from St Pancras to Ebbsfleet and then you switch over to the older railway but I think there's a little bit before that um, between Ebb, well, Northfleet and 
Faversham is like this sort of railway, third rail. Oh, sugar, we're stopping. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for spilling your tea there. So this is Falmer. Nobody really wanting to get on our train today. Lots of people waiting to go in the opposite direction. Lovely little Sussex village. So I don't know if anybody saw just then, but there was a oh no. there was a map that needed placing. So while we're loading and unloading, we'll quickly run back and put the map up. Where was it? Up there. So we are going from Brighton or but we're going via Eastbourne so we're, we're doing that part of the route so oh lock the doors we're going to be late away but we'll make the time up because we'll be a little bit quicker than we would be normally we go. Next station is Luz. Oh, this is a semi-fast. Semi-fast service, huh? So, how is everybody in chat this morning? We all good? We know Kaleidoscope and Rogan are alright, as they've gone to make themselves some tea and biscuits. And they've not offered to make the driver of the train one. Did you notice that, chat? There was no, don't worry, we'll make you a tea. I'll have to do with my blackcurrant squash. Oh no, some breakfast. Yeah, mine's a chip, but uh, sausage and egg butter, you please, mate. Nice runny yolk. With a nice barrel of tea, please. Train driver's breakfast. <laughs> It'd be cold and soggy by the time you get here. So I tell you what, you can make it, but you can eat it on my behalf. How about that? Oh, I forgot to do it again. I have to turn it off. Sorry, guys. It really does my head in when I go outside the train. And that awful motion blur is by the wheels. Pretty good frame rate on this, uh, this. Cheers, have a good day, Rogan. Thanks for stopping by. I might still be on when you get back, but uh, due to an embankment slide where I live, uh, the trains are all squiffy, so I've got to leave a bit earlier for work. But make sure you tune in tomorrow for your sand patch special. frame rates on this one. Oh, it's a full on 60. But you'll notice we're going so fast that the sleepers don't pop in on this one. They managed to get it so they don't pop in. They just buried him in the ballast. Right, so we're two miles away from our next station. 
but in half a mile we have a 55 mile an hour speed restriction coming out so, and we're going downhill at the minute we're dropping away from where we started so just going to apply the brakes now just to slowly take us down because we're coming up on that 55 quite quickly that's the 55 but yeah you can see the third rail just uh, just just here that's the third rail so the electricity passes along that and is picked up by these shoes which then send it into the motors oh we're we're speeding again but we're coming up to a 10 mile an hour now so we're just going to go into the cab to make sure we slow down correctly and we're at the right speeds for for everything because going into lose because of the way the the station is it's all very tight curves because it's built in a cutting so just need to make sure that uh, we're doing our speeds correctly and everything like that very peculiar just entering at 10 miles an hour thank you batman one underscore six for the follow much appreciated welcome to the stream so like i say we need to be at 10 mile an hour as we go into lose and that's just due to the sheer point work That you'll see when we get there now we're not going across into the the third platform i think it's the third platform or is it the fifth or the fourth i don't we'll see when we get there but we're now under control of lose signal box that's what the, the lw on the signal plate denoted then in the the signal for lose controls yeah, but that goes back to victorian times now this is controlled from a signaling control center um, but I'm not sure where because like I've said previously I don't sign this area of railway I only know this area of rail railway from the game I have driven from Lewes to New Haven I was learning how to drive trains that was an aggregates train All right there's the 10 mile an hour warning board well commencement board sorry so we just need to make sure we doing 10 mile an hour but the problem we've got is that we're going downhill so we're constantly picking up speed so we just use the hold brake just to keep our speed at 10 going into the platform How much is this and is it a good game? Well, welcome to the stream aviation. Um, now this is running on Train Sim World 2 and it is a preserved route. So this route is available on Train Sim World 2020. Um, thank you again for the follow. Just saw that dropped in there. Now, from what I understand, if you play on Xbox, Train Sim World 2020 is currently on Game Pass, so that means it's part of your, your Game Pass subscription. Um, and then the, you buy your route separately. Now this route is twenty four ninety nine. Um, I don't think there's any um, current sales or discounts on with it at the moment. Um, but the, the 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 core game comes with some routes. If you get the, if you went out and bought the collector's edition of Trains in World 2020, you would get this route included. Um, otherwise, you'd have to purchase it separately. It is a very good route, all things considered. Um, you can go from Brighton to Lou, or Bright, Brighton to Lou's, uh, Brighton to Eastbourne and Seahaven. 
or Seaford, sorry, via New Haven. You've got that, and it's a it's a big route. You've got some freight as well. Freight goes from the junction just there down to New Haven. Oh, lock the doors. How much is the actual game? Uh, that really depends on what platform you're buying it on. Um, so what platform you're buying it on? Would you be looking to buy it on? Like I say, on Xbox it's in the Game Pass. PlayStation, I think the game is twenty four ninety nine. And then each of your routes are separate, but you can build your own route collection. There's so many different routes and things now. You can just buy the railways that you want to play. There's plenty of Euro European, so that's German, well, mainly German, one French route. Um, but I would recommend buying Train Sim World 2 and not Train Sim World 2020, um, because this route will work in Train Sim World 2. You've got a better engine, better graphics. Um, you're going to have steam trains coming soon. So it's a better to get Trains in World 2, not 2020. Alright, so we'll soon be out of the 10 mile an hour speed restriction. Glind is our next station call as we head down the line. Alright, so we can take a little bit more power as the speed limit has slightly increased. Our eight car train didn't really fit in that platform at Lewes very well. Quite a lot of offers and deals um, on the PlayStation Store with this game, so you may find that it's around about the twenty pound mark. But I know Train Sim World Two is twenty well, it was twenty four ninety nine on all formats last time I checked. But like I say, I would recommend going for Train Sim World Two out of all of the ones that are available, just because. All of the new routes have been optimised and then they're slowly adding the, the optimizations backwards to the other routes. But all of the old routes work with the exception of NEC, which is an American route. But they are most enjoyable, the English routes. And I'm not just saying that because I like the English railways more than anything. I have had fun on American railways recently in the game so right so next station is Glynn two miles away green aspects so we'll uh, just continue on our way as the speed limit again increases but we are going downhill so I will just lift off and coast and you'll see the speed will just slowly start to increase on its own as we go down. That farmer tending his fields. Or not. Right, so we're a mile and 1.3 miles outside of the station now, so for those that have watched me previously, or if you're new, um, we tend to start braking about a mile and just use initial brakes just to slow our speed down a little bit. So that we're not slamming the brakes on as we get to the platforms, because nobody wants that. So here we go, we're sort of slowly getting there. We are a little bit late on the timetable at the moment, but we should get a good run 
where we can make some time up shortly. But again, safety comes first. We're not going to race around. And if we're late, we're late. So if anybody has any questions or queries about the railway in the United Kingdom, please do feel free to pop them in chat. And as I have said before, I will answer them. Oh, good one hasn't disconnected. Just unplugged it from charging. I will do my best. Take care, aviation. Enjoy your online class. I feel sorry for kids at the moment having to do all this online classes. Ooh, electrical substation. Really starting to feel the effects now mentally of this lockdown. I just want to be able to do what I want to do and go where I want to go. And things like that. Oh, there's another map that needs putting up. So we come to a stop. We will quickly run back and do that. So oh, this is Glind, and we are two minutes late at the moment. Like I say, not really worried about the timings, just enjoying our drive. Right, quickly go internal, driver's seat. No, I don't want to do the window, I want to do the door. Open the door. So we quickly go down and do this. Come on, get on the train if you want to get on, people. I won't, I won't hold it once it's time to go. So we are here at the moment. We've got Berwick, Polgate and Hamden Park to go before we get to Eastbourne. Run along the platform. I do have a brush. Brush all of those leaves away. Ooh, wrong door. So, Polgate next station. Now we have got a 80 mile an hour speed limit between here and there, and we've got 8.1 miles to go. So we might make up a little bit of time between here and there. Fingers crossed, away we go. So that was the DSD going off there, just to make sure that we are still alive and kicking in the chair. We haven't fallen asleep or anything. Right, so approaching our 80 mile an hour, which has now increased to a 90 mile an hour permanent speed restriction. As we are whistling our way now towards Polgate. And they've got the sound pretty accurate for these uh, these trains, I must say. I, hear, I don't hear them on AC power, uh, DC power very often, but I hear them on AC. Because these, the, there is a different version, a different subclass that has a pantograph that goes there and they go up to Milton Keynes. Oh, slightly speeding. So 
so we are climbing uphill now so just keep a little bit of throttle in for going up the hill Nice of the signaler to keep us on greens, though, I must admit. So if you see a W board um, next on the left-hand side of the, the running line, which is where we're going, that means whistle. And that means that there is a something coming up ahead that cannot see the train coming, but needs to know it's coming. So that's why there is a, a whistle board. So that people by the line know that there is a train on approach to that particular area. So that they don't walk out in front of it. Alright, so there is a, a speed restriction to 80 approaching us, so we'll just take the speed out, get to the speed before we actually get there, so that we're not speeding. Making reasonable time, speed limit's gone back up again now. As we're slight, starting to climb up a, a small hill towards our next station. So when we get to Polgate, you'll notice on the right hand side of our screen at the moment we have a 35 mile an hour speed restriction as we leave that station, or just a little short way after it. So we better keep our wits about us and make sure we are paying attention. Alright, so we are a mile and a half from the station, so we will completely take the power out now. And then when we get to around about 1.1 miles, we will start to just apply the brakes so that we bring ourselves to a controlled stop again, and not just slamming the brakes on. So you can see our speed is slowly starting to decrease. That's our alert for 35 miles now, because the line speed currently is 90, and it's a more than a certain percentage, it's more than a 30 percentage drop, so it needs to be alerted to the driver that that speed limit is approaching to reduce the risks associated with speeding through and not paying attention. So let's set off the AWS in the cab to notify us that that changes after the station and it was a triangle shape with a speed inside it and a yellow outline and then when the speed becomes active you will see the red circle like you do on the road white circle red sort of on the outside of it and the speed in the middle I would just like to add that speed limits were on the railway before they were on the roads oh plenty of people to get on the train here at Polgate Oh, blimey. Stand behind the yellow line, people. Always a busy station in this game, Polgate. I'm not sure if it's busy in real life, but it's extremely busy all the time on this game. Alright. I'm 
unlock the left hand side make sure all the doors are open yeah there we go all of those red bits of the doors are open so we just make sure that everybody is boarded safely Secure the doors. Alright, there we go. Permission to proceed. Eastbourne next station. So we will drive from Polgate to Eastbourne inside the cab. Just so that we've got a little bit of authenticity. There's that 35 mile an hour that I completely forgot about. It's only because of the nape, the curve of this part of the railway. As soon as we get around this curve, you'll see that the line speed again, just on the left hand side there, has increased to 70. So when all of the train has passed over that, we can then increase our speed which is a bit different to the Bakerloo line that you will have possibly played on trains in world 2 where the speed limit counts as soon as the nose of the train hits it right so away we go Eastbourne our final station call Hopefully the signaler will be nice and give us the road all the way into the Eastbourne platforms. No red signals or anything like that to slow us down as we need to make up some time. So that's our power handle. So we have four notches of power, three notches of brake, plus the emergency brake. We have our line light at the moment, which means that there is electricity going into the motors and powering the train. If the line light goes out, you're in for a whole world of problems because it means you've stalled on these electric trains. And it means that the, there's no pickup across any of the, the shoes as they're known as. Right, so 55 mile an hour coming up in a few moments time, or one mile's time. So we will just continue at 70. summer for that's a minimum excellent right, so 55 coming up and we have a yellow signal ahead so off they're slowing us down because we are actually getting within the station limits of Eastbourne um, just to make sure that everybody travels safely in those and that trains stop when required and don't have accidents where spads occur but we've got two yellows so the next signal will be a single yellow and then that will, the next signal after that will be a red so hopefully the red will be the platform buffer not a signal outside while we wait for a platform 
as we are a few minutes late, we the platform should be clear. Twenty five mile an hour coming up. There's the single yellow. Twenty five mile an hour ahead. Right, so we've got a single yellow into platform number two. That's what the two above that signal means, that we've got platform two. So the next signal will be a red, but we're not technically got a signal because it'll be the platform. So the the red light we will see will actually be on the buffer. Um, and we can't go through that for obvious reasons, because that'll hurt. But that's what why we've got a single yellow. We've had a single yellow back there. It means that be prepared to stop at the next signal. So there's the old Eastbourne signal box up there. As we cross into platform number two. So we just need to make sure that we are safely approaching the, the buffer stops. No more than 15 miles an hour. the doors so there you can see the red light which is in theory the red signal and the buffers right so there we go release the doors up now on the PIS oh. not in service until we get to the other end right so there we go what did we get gold medal or silver medal oh we've already done this one before so we don't get a medal for it but what we do is we return to free roam so we just shut the cab down and then we'll head up the other end and take this service back doors get out of our seat thought we locked the doors then we don't have permission to drive this service well we don't want permission to drive it from this end because it's under the buffers right close it Red lights are on, blinds are down, and we'll swap ends to the other end. Strange how this half of the train closed its doors and the other half didn't. Excuse me, I'd like to drive this train please. Hmm. Okay. So I'll just turn all these on because that's what we're going to need for the return journey. Right, that's all that done. to lock the doors do 
You've not got half your doors unlocked, fella. Oh, look, you've not even set your train up properly, mate. Yes, I want to give up control. Don't worry about cancelling anything. It's one of those services again, is it? Where you can't... Whoa! What? Hold on. Oh, there you go, mate. Off you go, then. He's going to awe, is he? So we are sort of now waiting for something to come back. So there is nothing coming our way at the moment. Yeah, nothing on the route apart from there. But I think that one goes, no, that's lose. So we are sort of stuck at Eastbourne, folks. So we shall just drop out and go back. Have to reset all this up. services there's none at Eastbourne for when we were there all right so Hastings to Brighton or Brighton to Hastings via Eastbourne but we can't go any further because we're at Eastbourne all right let's do this one an all station stop to Seaford side key in forward direction that will unlock the doors just turn all our safety systems on moves all right so we've only got a four car train for this journey to Seaford so let's lock the doors our little slider there says four cars and then we shall wait for our departure time make sure that uh, Temperature is cold, aircon is on. Yep, there we go. Oh, jolly good. Just need to make sure the rear lights are on, which they are. Right, London Road, first station stop. So away we go.
So we're up to 25 mile an hour once the fourth carriage has cleared that speed restriction board. Out across the points. Yeah, well, like I said earlier, I really do hope they do a London to Brighton version of this, just so that we can go off to the left. Right, so the line light has come back on, which means we have electricity back to our traction motors. to London Road Station so we're not really going to take any power I'm just going to coast around the curve seconds ahead of time. So we just stop at the marker. Unlock the left. Just gonna change the settings. Don't need that on So let's just have a quick look at the schedule. So we've left at 8.42 and we arrive at Seaford at 9.16. So it's a half an hour little scenario. Doors will close up to 30 seconds before departure. Just wait for that to tick down. Right, away we go. Oh, what's happened here? Directional switch just threw itself out then. How strange. Right, Musulkum next station. So away we go towards Musulkum. think now we don't want the stop mark on but we want the objective mark up. just so we have some idea there we go
Right, this has a nice leisurely stop. Again, a nice, um, nicely modelled unit. And there is another one coming for this route. The Class 313 is in development at the moment, which is the older generation of uh, electric multiple units. And that should be out around April time, I believe. Right, Falmer, next station call. Now, as we don't really have far to go, I don't really want to get all the way up to the line speed because it only means heavier braking when we get to the, the destination station. So if we just go to 50, because we're having to put the brakes on. Ooh, a bit premature though, because they're very good brakes which I do believe they're being fixed next Thursday in a patch it's where they're not as effective because apparently they're, they're a little bit too good at the moment which as you've just seen there is accurate So we're going to be a few seconds late into our book time at Falmer. But we do have a, a little bit of dwell time which we can cancel to, to make up for. So we should continue on time when we get there. As a service comes towards us in the up direction or is it down and up towards Eastbourne down towards Brighton interesting conundrum Ooh, just ease off because the, they're so good those brakes almost like they're brand new brake blocks Alright, so we we actually lost a minute there. That's not particularly good. Right, the doors are locked. Away we go. Lose is our next station call. 
and we have some speed restrictions going into loops 10 miles an hour don't we for the curve so we will pick up the speed as quick as we can to get uh, get up to some sort of speed and then slow ourselves down when we get there so the speed limit is going up to 70 Thanks for following Flight 100. Much appreciated. Right, now we have a substantial downhill section now, so we're just going to apply a little bit of brake so that we don't bounce along at 70. We are heading towards Luz now, and as we know, we have to decline quite drastically in our speeds. Right, so we're a mile from the 55, so we'll just gently apply that brake as you can hear the engines whining as the reverse braking takes effect. Now we're under 55, but we are going downhill, so we will pick back up to 55. There's the 55 mile an hour board. Now for those of you that haven't been here before, you just will have seen two speeds on that speed restriction board. A 35 at the top and a 55 on the bottom. The 35 um, is for freight trains and the bottom one is for passenger trains. So we are now on our final approach into Luz Station. The speed does drop down to 10 mile an hour. So we must remember that we've got to be at 10 mile an hour before we get there. Thank you for the follow, Malty. Much appreciated. So we've just got a short distance, 900 yards now to go until we're at the 10. So our initial brakes are in slowing us down so that we don't derail across the point work so we are staying on the mainline station platform we're not going off into the 
the alternate platform that is available that's what that bar across the top of the signal there a number four position light if that was illuminated we'd be crossing over into the other platform but luckily we we're on the mainline platform at lose today for this run So there's the 10 mile an hour board just ahead of us and the arrow on the top of it indicates what line it's for so if we're going left we're staying left it applies to us if you're going across to the right across that junction it applies to you as well thanks very much multi i am a train driver in real life um i drive freight trains so that's i try and keep you engaged with letting you know what's going on because there's nothing worse than looking at a stream and having no idea what everything means. So if you have any questions or queries about the life of a train driver, drop them in the chat and I'll do my best to answer them. So here we go, the beautiful Luz station. Nice bit of floral work. Stopping right on the money. There we go. Unlock the left hand side doors. So, just here, this is a passenger information screen. And from what I understand, in an upcoming update for the game, they will work and they will show you what train. Or where the train that's coming like just in real life so it'll have the time it's due where it's going and what time it's expected so we are late so it'll have amended the times we should have been here at 8:53 or 8:58, and we've actually arrived at nine o'clock so it'll have it'll have the delay time there and then right at the very bottom it'll have the have the actual time in the game and like I say, that's not too far away. Apparently that's working and we should see that soon. Which will match up with the fronts of the trains. So there's a couple more platforms that lose there which lead off to a different part of the southern network. They sort of go up towards Clapham Junction that way. Ooh, get fast across the points early. Slow down. as the train comes in the opposite direction. Busy old station lose in this game. A little bit of freight and then the passenger services. So when we go down towards New Haven, there should be a freight train sitting in the New Haven aggregate sidings when we get there. Because I don't think we pass it coming back up towards Luz. Right, so we've got 40 mile an hour speed. Sixty mile an hour approaching. That bell means the signal ahead is green, part of the AWS alert system. Right, so we're now on the 60. Once the rear of our train passes that 60 board, there we go. We are now authorised for 60. And South East is our next station call. Oh, and we've got a junction coming up at the moment which you'll see there, number four. Now in real life you'd have had flashing yellows to say that we were going that way because the speed decreases and everything like that, but Dovetail Games unfortunately haven't been able to do flashing yellows because it's a diverging route. 
So 40 mile an hour across the points and the crossings. 70 mile an hour board there. Once the rear of our train is across that, line speed goes up to 70. There we go. Now that AWS horn you heard there is for a reduction in speed. But the reduction in speed doesn't count for us because we're a passenger train. So we continue on 70, but it drops for freight trains. As we now head out towards New Haven and Seaford. Again, we're dropping down towards the sea. So we'll just put the throttle to idle, no power, and we just let gravity do its thing. So getting close to the station now, it's under a mile away so we'll put our brakes in and slow ourselves down so that we're not approaching the platforms at a ridiculous speed where we have to really apply them to get ourselves stopped. Now we do lose some time doing it this way, but we've already lost a couple of minutes, so we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Oh, whistle board, that W board there. Now that whistle board is because there's a level crossing at the end of the platform on a curve. So they, the trains aren't really seen as they come round the curve. All four carriages are in the platform. It's a very short platform here at South East. As a train comes up from New Haven and Seaford. Lock the doors. And take some power and away we go. New Haven Town, next station call. So here we go, there's another speed restriction board ahead of us. 70 miles an hour for us as a passenger train. 50 mile an hour for freight trains. Board. And another whistle board. Now when I have two whistle boards in quick succession like that, the rule book states it should be a low blast of the horn. Now 
the only problem is is when you do that you give no indication to somebody that it's a different whistle board that you're whistling for so me personally I always like to change up the, the horn that I do because you have a high and a low as you've just seen there so you've got low and high so if I've got two in quick succession I'll flick how I do them so you have or just so that some people get an idea that there's something coming especially if you've got headphones on they might not hear it, or they might vaguely hear it and then they might not hear the second one so it's a personal preference as long as you sound the, whist the whistle or the horn at a whistle board you're okay right so we've got a 35 mile an hour warning board there to notify us that it applies to all trains because it's more than the 33 percent reduction in the speed so this is new haven aggregate yard on the right hand side i th don't think there is actually a train in there at the moment a bit peculiar because there's one due out Yep, it's not there, it must have already gone, or it's not arrived yet. It's running late. So 35 mile an hour before the, the speed board. And now that we've passed it, we're on that 35 mile an hour board of speed. Even though the game's telling us we're not at it yet. We've just gone past it game, so we've slowed down. But we're also approaching New Haven Town Station. Oh, quite busy here at New Haven today. There's a ferry coming. go right so still a 35 mile an hour board there with a 30 for freight but freight doesn't tend to come down this way very often although it does now oh excuse me it does now i think so i think there's another yard somewhere along here but like i say i don't come down here very often so i'm not entirely sure Let's lock the doors. Okay, now we've got New Haven Harbour just round the curve. faster than 30 because like I say the station is literally just around this curve There is a level crossing at the end of the platform. So we unlock our left hand side. So I'm guessing once upon a time there used to be a boat train that used to come down to. To New Haven, hence why there's that 
like little siding off over there where they'd go straight onto a boat and then across the channel and onto the continent all right lock our doors on the left we have a green signal but we do not have the route indicator so we're not going off to the right we're continuing around to the left on the main what they call the main line New Haven signal box over there on the right hand side just on the approach to the sidings like I say we're not going in that direction we are carrying on round to Seaford and it's now single line working over this section of track so we will be the only train in this section. Right, so we've got a mile to go to Bishopstone. And as we know, we're the only train on this section, a single line. We shall increase to 70 miles an hour to try and make some of our time up. So we're only a minute behind now, so I say we're only a minute behind, we're not, because we're not actually at Bishopstone yet. But we've made up about 30 seconds, I think. As we go through a disused platform and station here, used to be dual track this you can see track beds there for two railways two rails platform either side all right we're on our approach now so we're going to be have to be a little bit heavier on the brakes than i would like Again, we're getting the AWS there for a reduction in speed. You can see the board. And that's for 15 miles now. But you can see this railway used to be a double track. Oh, excuse you, Mr. Boat. As there is two platforms here at this station. quickly while we're here I'll just quickly put the map on oh, no poster to go there no poster to go there fix the ticket machine want people to get their tickets so these people are obviously waiting for a train back in the opposite direction so we better get out of their way Sorry folks. Alright, so we have a single yellow and then Seaford is the next station just under a mile up the, the single line here. So the single yellow means that the next signal will be red and I'm imagining the next signal will be the buffer stop at Seaford. I haven't been down here before. I haven't driven this bit in the game. It's the first time I've been to Seaford. So we have a 15 mile an hour coming up just before the station. So we don't really want to go any faster than 30. Go 
Now, depending on the time that this train sits at Seaford for before it goes back, I am going to drive it back to where it's going to go, and then that will be the end of the stream because I have got work this afternoon slash this evening. So I have got to get myself ready for that. Right, 15 mile an hour is coming up. The limit board is on the right hand side of the running line this time because there's no room for it on the left because there is a platform. So here we go, coming into Seaford. So there's plenty of people that want to go back up towards Eastbourne and Brighton. So. Well, I must have been here before. There's a map there. I don't remember coming here. Honestly, I don't. Destination. So we just got to make sure we do all of our bits and pieces. So a silver medal that time. Uh, that's probably be due to the. Oh, ow. The, the lateness of the service. But we shall continue. So we've got 9.24 is the start time on this service. So, yeah, that's all good. Just need to turn off our safety systems at this end. And then we will head to the other end and do the service backwards. check that our red lights are on I think they are yeah they look like they're on to climb up as we've fallen down so fix our ticket machines that's all good that's all good Still got the doors open. Red lights on this end. Right, so we, yeah, we're going to begin this service. Put our daylights on. Master key in. I'm going to be going forward. We'll leave that in the off position for the moment. Door release on the right. safety systems put our 
DRR. Why is that not illuminated? Hmm. Right, but we are good to go on our way back. Oh, we've still got red lights on. It's not good. There we go. They're off. All right, so we just need to check our schedule as to where we're heading to. We're heading all the way back to Brighton. So, need to go to our passenger information system and select Brighton. Ooh. All right, so that's now locked into the system. And you'll see that Brighton is now showing on all the passenger information systems. But there we go. Right, so. Just need to get up and close the driver's door. Need to close our passenger service doors. Set that to forward. Ah, there's a DRA illumination. As the signal is red at the end of the platform, just to remind us that we need to check it. Right. Oh, we got to unlock the doors again. And the signal is now cleared to a single yellow. So I'm going to take that out. Because we don't need to check the signal. I have to wait until 9.25 and 30 seconds. And we'll then be heading back up this single line. Rejoining the double line at New Haven. Close the doors. And away we go. I'm surprised those people didn't get on, to be honest. Are we illuminated ring lights there? I can't really tell if we've got our red lights on on the rear there. Right, so here we go, heading towards Bishopstone. All those passengers have gone. 
And there hasn't been another train come since we've last came from. Oh, here they all are. They've all moved up the platform slightly. I think we got red lights on the rear there. Alright, well, I'm not happy that we're n we haven't got them on, so let's quickly go down and check. Definitely on, so So we're on a 70 mile an hour piece of railway again. So next station, New Haven Harbour. for the 20 mile an hour at New Haven. slowing down as you can see there's the overbridge at New Haven Harbour just ahead of us oh, there comes the boat so we need to make sure we've slowed down at 20 for 20 miles an hour as I think we've got a little bit of point work to go across in just a few moments time yep so it's coming back onto the the double line but it's quite a sharp curve to get us round into the platform Stop at the forecast stop board. And I just saw that I've missed a map. Oh, ticket machine added. Anything else? lose a couple of seconds while I uh, get back on board. I'm 
Lock the left doors, lock the driver's door. Alright, so we're still on the 20 mile an hour through the station because of the curvature. 35 mile an hour at the end there. We have got to stop at New Haven Town, so we don't want to be going too fast. time for the boat giving the horn again people obviously going for a day shopping in Brighton that's why they're all here think that stopping point was correct but I think the rear of the train is oh, just in the platform So we've got 35 mile an hour for a few moments. As we curve our way out. As we head up towards South East. there Cyan. Good, e good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, but welcome back. Right, we're up to a 70 mile an hour now. Hope you're well today. It's nice to have you back. Nice drive. Quite a nice route to drive. Nice and relaxing as Malty said earlier. Excellent. That's what we like to see. I see they've got some good stuff out. In their sale. For their festival of rail. Just need to build a better gaming PC so that I can stream my PC collection at the same time as streaming. So come probably the end of April, beginning of May, I shall get a new gaming PC and be able to stream from console and the PC collection that I have. Because I do have quite a lot of stuff on Train Simulator 
2021. Which I'd quite like to share with you all. And for the fact it opens up a whole host of longer routes and routes that I actually drive in real life. Ah, yeah, steering wheels are hard to find at the moment, but that's only because China's not been producing any. So that's that station done and like I say we're all the way back through to Brighton. So Lewes at 944 is our next station, two miles away, nearly three. So we can see the 70 board just ahead of us should allow us to make up a few minutes or a few seconds of the lost time where I was collecting the ticket machines and maps. So we can now pick up our speed. We have got a 40 just before lose in this direction and then 10 out the other side. Better make sure we follow those. What was that for? Well, it was hidden in the hedge, didn't get to see it. But I think that's for the 35 drop for freight. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I need to do more on the Long Island Railroad. I really enjoyed that the other day, I think when you were in on our stream, when you first visited. I need to do more on that route, as that was a lot of fun, and it is one of the better routes for traffic. There's a lot more going on, lots of coming and going. So we have the 40 mile an hour coming up in just a moment, about three quarters of a mile. So that's our warning board for the 40. So what we'll do is we'll bring the speed down to 60. And then we will continue to decline and decrease to 40. There we go, we're at 40. That's for the point work back out onto the Eastbourne main line. And we've just had the signal clear on us. It was a cautionary, it was a yellow. So we're now going to go out back onto the Eastbourne line. Yes, trains really do delay in the United Kingdom. Um, Southern really do have a bad reputation for it which is the train operating company on this one so yeah the UK has a has a little bit of a problem with delay like delays of trains and oh, me, me. things things like that so we're we're doing pretty well at the moment we're not massively behind but we have got a 40 mile an hour coming up Followed by very quickly after that a 20. So 
there's the 40 we're doing 40 and then we have to slow down for the 20 just round the curve as we go into lose station right so we are actually going into the the third platform I believe we're not going onto the main line platform we're going across I think that's, that's a weird signal so we need to be down at 10 mile an hour no we're not Okay, so that's weird. Because the signal that we just got ah oh, would put us in there, I think. Ah, oh, right, okay. That's my misreading of the signals. Oh yes, I, I'm trying to get to the platforms on time. It's just sometimes the ex the way the game is tight, like the timings between the, the stations, unless you drive it at full speed all the time, it's a little bit hard to, to do. So we're 22 seconds late, but we're in that minute. Nine minutes, nine o'clock and 44 minutes was our our window so we arrived on time in theory because we the minutes was right we might not leave on time because we're a little bit late so we should have theory have the doors closed and be on our way now but unfortunately not so So we've got six minutes to go four miles. We're not going to do that, so we are, in theory, going to be a little bit late to the next station. Because we can only go at ten miles an hour out of lose station. And then it's a 55 mile an hour speed limit back out on the main line bit. So remember, as soon as that last carriage of this train is past that, we can speed up. But we can't speed up until we're past that. There we go. can now speed up to 55 miles an hour. Right, there's a 70 mile an hour speed board, so when the 
trains on the bridge, that would be our key to accelerate. Yeah, there we go. So we should arrive at Falmer just on time, I think. about any speed restrictions or slowing down at all we just got to make sure we keep our speed at 70 for time got a minute and a half to do 1.2 miles like I say I think we should arrive just around the right time right, we're a mile away now so we'll throttle off but we are going uphill so we'll put the brakes in start to slow ourselves down the track has now leveled out we're not climbing we're not dropping down it's flat and level which means we should in theory just roll at the 52 miles an hour that we're at yeah. and then the station is just around the corner there it is under the bridge I'm going to be aiming for 30 mile an hour at the platform ramp on time slap bang on 9.51 so that's another ticket machine back in service so people have got no excuse not to buy a ticket now All right, lock the doors we go. But you see there, Cyan, with the with the UK timetables, you do have a little bit of time that you can make up between stations. Because we left loose late, but we arrived on time at the last stop.
So we're now dropping downhill again. So take the throttle and the, so we take out the electricity from the motors. So that we coast at 70 miles an hour. Right, so we're very nearly at Musulkum. Or Muzkum. So, again. Brakes in. And again, our platform is just hidden by the curve of the railway. So we're going on to a 55 mile an hour shortly after the station. We had our warning board there that the speed is going to come down. And we are again four seconds late in theory if you're looking at it at that but again in my eyes that's arrived on time as the minutes corresponded with what we were expecting we lock the doors We've got London Road, a mile up the road, and then we're very nearly back at Brighton. I'm guessing we must sit outside Brighton for a little while because it's about nine minutes time that we have to wait for. If I have a look at the, oh no, 10 o'clock. So the railway is now slowed down to 55 miles an hour. So we need to make sure that we don't go through that. That's our alert for a 30 mile an hour coming up ahead. And we've got to 55 mile an hour, but we're now on approach to London Road Station. So the brakes are in. true fashion as the way the British work British railways work you'll notice that we are early now so we have arrived early to London Road Anything to do on this platform like maps or anything nope. we've we done everything now we've got the map to do on that side so we quickly run over and do that ticket machines all okay put our map in quickly run back and hopefully get back onto our train on time out of the way love
and now Brighton 10 a.m. and it's only a short ride round the corner so we should arrive to Brighton early single yellow on approach to Brighton. Platform 7 is our destination. 20 mile an hour ahead. We're doing 20. Like I say, those lines off to the right hand side at the moment, just to our right, go off towards London. And on the PC, there is a London to Brighton route. So hopefully we'll be able to do that at some point. When I get a PC, new gaming PC to allow us to do the streaming from the PC as well. Because I can't do it off this one because it just doesn't enjoy it. It wouldn't be a very good experience. So as we get towards the nose of that other train, we will slow ourselves down to 10 miles an hour. Just so that we're not approaching the buffers too quickly. As there are safety systems in place in British terminal stations that stop you going too fast towards buffers. After ca the Cannon Street accident in the 90s. finished the service so we need to turn our lights off tail lights onto auto well, we'll just put them on because it doesn't seem to want to That's it, we are, are done on this particular route. So it's going back to Seaford. Cool, you could do a shuttle all day, couldn't you? Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. But there we go. Well, we better quickly just change the PIS for the next driver. So there we go folks, thank you very much for joining me and I shall see you all tomorrow and I'm not entirely sure what time I'll be on tomorrow so make sure you follow me on Twitter if it works, ah, no it's not but it's If you follow me on Twitter for the, the latest updates, you'll see when I'm going on and I'll post it around 9am what time I'll be going on for the day. And we will be doing a little bit of American railroading tomorrow. So Sandpatch Grade, we're going to try and finish that one we started the other day that crashed on us. And then we'll do some Long Island Railroad and probably finish up in Canada. So like I say, thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.